who hope to uh, work in uh, football in some capacity someday, and uh, usually internships are kind of the front door for that. Can you tell us a little bit about some successful interns that you've worked with in the past? And also, if, if your next door neighbor wanted to pursue this, what kind of advice would you have? Well, if, if you uh, if you want to get in the business, I mean, it's a tough business to, to, to be in. But uh, I called a couple of my former interns to kind of uh, find out what what they thought. Uh, and, and they thought whatever they uh, they wanted to do, uh, get as much experience as you can before you it was the op you have the opportunity to do an intern program. And uh, uh, one of my first interns, he went to Florida State University, and as, as a freshman, he, uh, when he first got to Florida State, he was reading the, the school newspaper, and they needed a, um, a student assistant for the defensive squad at Florida State. And so he applied for the position, and he got it. And so he worked for four years as a defensive kind of quality control coach uh, all through his career. And then they, they thought so highly of him that uh, after uh, he graduated, he worked on his master's in sports administration and he, uh, he worked in the compliance office. So he, there was uh, uh, four or five, six years of experience before he was even, he even graduated. And uh, some people may say, well, you know, where, uh, not everybody is able to get into that situation, but there are high schools you can help with, uh, and uh, junior colleges, or you, you get experience wherever you can, and that that would be the most. Uh, both both interns that I called, uh, previous interns of my uh, mine, they both said get as much experience in doing anything that, before you get the opportunity to be an intern. But uh, that would be. My advice. Anyway. What's the value of a mentor in that process, or is there is there value? Oh, yeah, hey, it's very important to have a, a mentor. Sometimes you you you, you got to uh, do a lot of hunting and looking to find out a, a mentor. You know, I never. That's one of the reasons I uh, ended up doing the uh, wanting to leave high school coaching because I didn't feel I had a, a mentor as such. Now, in the long run, I think Charlie Casfield kind of became my mentor because I worked the longest with him. But uh, but he and I started as interns together. So sometimes your mentor can be a lot of different things, you know, in a lot of si different situations. But uh, uh, if you're interested in it, get get find somebody. If if you if you know of somebody, or somebody that you or, or something. Or, or someone that works in the area that you want to get into, find them and find out as much as you can about them and what they do and, and how they got there and how they got to those positions.